We're here in northern Japan on the Serufutsu River studying Sakhalin taimen, known locally as Ito, a critically endangered fish and one of the largest members of the salmon family. In an area otherwise marked by dramatic habitat loss, this river is in a relatively pristine, undisturbed condition. It is one of only seven Taimen rivers in Japan with a stable Taimen population. Sakhalin Taimen are an ancient species of fish. They split from a common salmon ancestor over 20 million years ago and have changed little ever since. They are one of the largest members of the salmon family, growing to over a meter long and living over 20 years. There are five separate species of Taimen in Asia. Sakhalin Taimen is the only species in this group that runs to the ocean during their life history. Taimen are a unique group of fish found only in Asia. Some act like stream-dwelling trout, while others run to the ocean and return to fresh water like salmon. We know very little about Taimen. They have never been an abundant species and their populations are not productive enough to support a food fishery. Ito are heteropara species, meaning reproduce multiple times in the life history, unlike Pacific salmon that die after spawning. So they make multiple trips between lower part of river and headwater, like here, for spawning. We don't know how many times they repeat this migration behavior, but they do need a large area within a watershed. Not only in the watershed, but they out-migrate to the ocean. It is important to know whether these fish spawn every year. This year we have begun a new project involving tagging fish. The tags we chose for this study are very small, no bigger than a grain of rice, and can last many years. We built an antenna at our research site, so whenever a tagged fish passes, the presence of the fish is detected and logged onto our computer on the stream bank. Each fish has a unique tag code, so we can track the migration patterns of individual fish for many years into the future. We hope this new technology will allow us to determine whether these fish spawn every year. There are currently very few rivers in Japan that are in a natural state that can support Sakhalin Taimen. Fishing is a concern. The growing recreational fishery may represent a new threat. We think a large percentage of adult Ito are captured every year in the lower river fishery. Back in 2009, I was part of a precedent-setting conservation agreement involving a major landowner, Oji Paper, a local conservation group, Ito no Kai, and the Wild Salmon Center, an international conservation NGO based in the U.S. The agreement, the first of its kind in Japan, resulted in over 6,500 acres put under permanent protection. This includes extensive riparian and floodplain habitat free of dams. We feel this agreement is critical to the future of Taimen in this watershed. If conservation efforts with local support continues in this river, we feel the future of the species is secure. In other rivers, however, the outlook is not so bright. With mounting threats, particularly from climate change, it's going to take bold action to restore habitat and recover the species. Please join us in working toward a better future for the rivers and these amazing fish.